Here with Vince McCogliano, who covers the Rangers for USA Today and Moha.com. Patrick Kane's first game as a Ranger. What was your initial impression uh, of him on the ice and overall just the reception here at Madison Square Garden? Well, the place was buzzing, Michelle, as we saw tonight. It felt like a playoff atmosphere. The fans were just itching to see him on the ice. There had been so much buildup in the last week with people kind of knowing the trade was coming, but it wasn't official finally until Tuesday. So the moment finally arrived, but he said himself, it was a whirlwind. He played for Chicago for 15 and a half seasons. You have to imagine stepping into a un- new uniform onto new ice with a new team had to feel weird for him. He said it kind of felt like a blur. And I, he said he had nerves. Artemi Panarin even said he had nerves for him. So it's going to take a little while, I think, before it feels like normal for him. Well, he did play with Artemi Panarin uh, back in Chicago. So they're reunited. They were on the same line tonight. Uh, what did you think of them and how they looked together? You saw flashes. Like, there was a moment in the first period where where uh, Kane weaved into the high slot, fed Panarin. They have a one-timer attempt there. You saw these little passes and kind of how they notice where the other one is on the ice. So they definitely seem to have a good feel for each other. But it also felt like the timing was a smidge off. There were situations where you saw a little hesitation on Kane's part. You would have liked to see him shoot the puck, and maybe he went for the extra pass. That was something head coach Gerard Gallant addressed after the game. So they both said it's a work in progress. They're confident it'll come back but it's kind of hard to expect it to happen in one game. This Rangers team has added so much offensive firepower as of late. Do you have any concerns uh, uh, for their defense? You know, that's really something that's come up, I think, since the All-Star break. You look at their goals against average in the last handful of games, it's way up from where it was earlier in the season. And you look at tonight, they allow five goals. There were some defensive zone breakdowns. Those last couple goals that the Senators scored in the third period, really poor coverage in front of the net front. You worry about their defensemen. They've been playing shorthanded for a few games in a row now with Ryan Lindgren injured and Keandre Miller suspended. So are those guys worn down is a question you have to ask. But Gerard Glant also seemed to take issue with the forwards and their defensive coverage as well. They've got a lot of guys that like to push for offense, not that many guys that are known for their defense right now. So I think that's something definitely to watch in the last handful of games going into the stretch of the season.